Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Press the Action Button Poopcast. Podcast here Poopcast. on digital delariumcom As always, com. I am your host, Joystick, and with me this week is Gameface. Say hello to the people, Gameface. I hate that you have legs. <laughs> <laughs> this I is hate, a funny way to insult someone. I hate the existence of your legs. Why can't you not have the blessing of functioning legs? That was a Clerks 2 reference. Oh, yeah, that's right. He said, the guy was writing the blog, people should appreciate the blessings of their functioning legs. Oh, what kind of a guilt trip is that? <laughs> also with us this week is Dr. Drew Bang. Say hello to the people, Dr. Drew Bang. I just looked at your, your the beer you guys are drinking. That is the gayest fucking case Holy I've ever cow. seen. Holy cow, yes it is. It's like snowmen sucking each other's dicks. Yeah. Like, it's that gay. That, that yeah. would be pretty gay. They're all carrying cases around. There's a bonfire for some reason. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. And it's like snow. That makes a lot of sense. It says Easton, PA, 2,048 miles. I guess it's supposed to be the North Pole. Well, since you bought it, would you like to announce the beer? If I can pronounce it. Uh, Weyerbacher, Weyerbacher, Weyerbacher. I'm going to say Weyerbacher because it's kind of the closest to Pennsylvania, German, Dutch, without, you know, sounding like a jackass. Now you want to crack? I do. I lack a bottle opener. Wait. Shit. No, wait. What? I, I have my car you keys. You always have, like, five bottle opener openers on your car keys. Yeah, normally I just break caps off against the edge of my desk. Normally I just break your mom against my cock. Normally I just <laughs> butthole. <laughs> you know who else does that? Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly! <laughs> that was like the best night ever. I was miserable. <laughs> and you people are like, hey, Christmas special! <sighs> I was like, no! There, I unstuck it. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Unstuck what? <sighs> oh. There we go. Bottle has been opened. What do you got over there? I, I got, I got, I got some IBC root beer. It's good beer. It's, it's good. It's good. I'm gonna it is good. <laughs> I had what one. What did you do? <laughs> I hit the, the microphone. Oh, I thought you. And then I hit, I hit my nose too. Oh. I had one. It is good. I'm gonna <laughs> add this because uh, I've never had this beer, so I'm adding this to my. It's not as good as ABC. Collection for the post oh, yeah. post apocalyptic world. You know where to put them? The bottle cap. Yeah, the in bottle the, caps. Uh, you know, put them. You in gotta there. collect them because when when the bombs drop. That is the worst. Like I could see playing cards. I could see anything. Oh, playing cards would be awesome. I could see. Anything. Well, you, you got to understand that, that this is like a retro future. It's like the no, 1950s but just mean... when bottle caps were a lot more prevalent than they are today. Yeah, I get it's an alternate timeline, but it's a fucking gay alternate timeline. <laughs> I love it. I this love it. Very like, there's pre war money everywhere, and they don't use it. There's what? Well, there's a whole lot more uh, bottle caps than there is pre war money. But... Not true. I found so much fucking pre war money. I, I don't know what the. Mom! First topic. I this don't is know. the first time. Andrew know. wins. I this know. Is zero. Andrew fail. Win some more. I did. Okay. I here. Fuck that. Gone. There. I just threw away a bottle cap yeah, for the kid. Now I eat. can't. Now I, I'm one thing away from a stim pack, and I'll never get it. <laughs> well, you need a collection of bottle caps to make a bottle cap mine, though. Yeah. What? Oh, let's make a mine that throws all our money all around. Yeah, That's there's a, stupid. a bottle cap. You can build a bottle cap mine in that game. Yeah, it's a mine. It was some step. It wasn't as awesome as the shish kebab, which is basically a sword that's on fire. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> okay. It's not as cool as Skyrim, though. Scrim. I still call it Scrim. Skyrim rules. <laughs> Scrolls. Scrolls. Scrim scrolls. Okay, I want to talk a little bit about the website, because you may or may not have noticed that I updated a few things on it. And I'm going to check my we text now- messages. <laughs> you you okay. know how... <laughs> Alex over here has always been asking for a picture section so we can take pictures of things that we talk about during the podcast so we don't leave you people in the dark anymore. We have one now. It is currently empty. It will have pictures in it in the future, but we have one now. And I know full well that it's going to be forever before we get around to actually putting up anything relevant, so we're going to put as a placeholder a picture of a turtle. Now i got to put a picture of a turtle. Put Just Morla... Turtle. From uh, Neverending Story? No. You don't want to put more of the Tortoiseshell Mountain in? 
No, it's not random enough. It's just gonna be like a really stupid looking turtle. She looks pretty stupid. Okay, sold. It fell. What fell? It. The kid fell? Yeah. Oh. We'll go with that. Keep them away from the bottle caps. <laughs> okay. I also added a video section, which has the latest video embedded on the page. Porn! And, and then links to every single other video on the YouTube About channel. About asses and tits. There will be butt. <laughs> yeah, there be will butt. be butt. <laughs> Lots and lots of butt. It's all about butt. Yeah. It's butt bedlam. New anyway, every, it I also like added one account. other thing, and it's a minor detail, but I think it's kind of cool. You know how in the ta- in the uh, tab next to the website's name, there is usually a picture that represents the website? Like we have one of those now. It's called the fav icon. Is there a dick? The favicon. Is it like a big, hard, floppy cock? No. No. Uh-huh. It, we can, it we can arrange that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> wait, <laughs> <they're not. laughs> wait, hard and floppy? Yeah, it's it's that big and it's that big and long. Uh, it's, it's like it's half of it's hard and the other it, half. It's like, it just it flops because it's so big. Even so though it's, it's like rock hard. It's like microwave cheese and it melts and. We're just imagining and like numbers. like a fish yeah. out of water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you are. <laughs> flopping. <laughs> Oh, I hate you, Andrew. We have problems. <laughs> yeah, we have problems. Their names. Their name is Andrew McLeaf. That's the name of our problems. Hey, that's me. <laughs> He's laughing. I cause a lot of people problems. <laughs> I really do. Like my whole family. Like I'm just so... giving you shit. I know you're just giving me shit, but in reality, like a lot of people would be better off us somewhere else. I curse your vagina. I really, truly do. You curse Andrew's vagina? I just kind of said that to the sled, actually. I wasn't really directing that at The sled has a vagina? Yeah. Look, it's right here. No wonder Paul bought it. (laughs) The vagina doesn't look like this at all. It's Andrew's pursuit of finding it. Okay, that's (laughs) That's better. He has like a cookie cutter thing. It cuts triangles. And then he replaced it with a triangle. It was orange because the other one was green. Ew. Yeah. Ew. Anyway, I I do want to add a few more things to the site. Namely, what I want to do is have the website have a description that appears when you search it on Google and find it, as well as tag the site so it's easier to find on Google. Ah, yes. And I want a subscription and a preview icon for the website itself when you copy and paste the URL directly into the website, like Facebook. Mm, that's right. That thing. You know what I want on the website? I'm trying to get it to work. I want floppy dicks. Make your own website for you that, mean, buddy. You mean like <laughs> us? That's, that's what we are. <laughs> you guys should dress up as penises for Halloween together next year. <laughs> no, we should just all stand and just naked. fucking like hit each other all night. <laughs> <laughs> we should stand like shoulder to shoulder, like just naked. Like shoulder to shoulder, and just have like, <laughs> just like a big long like panorama, <laughs> like of all dicks. of our junk, <laughs> just like hanging. Like every other one will be like up, down, up, down. I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> this is you just made us so gay, but it's all right. Cause I'd, I'd so do it. <laughs> the Konami we all laid we, out in <laughs> dicks. We all, all except for like Schaefer have small penises. Yeah, yeah. Or average penises. The Konami code laid out in dicks. I think that's what he was going for. Up, up, down, down. <laughs> Actually, no, but that's hilarious. How would you get B and A and select and start? I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, but but it's the ass. Yeah. It's the ass. Well, that doesn't really breast? work. Boobs. No. Yeah. Boobs. Belbo. <laughs> Belbo. Belbo. <laughs> Belbo. I'm liking the Belbo. Buggins. Belbo Huggins. <laughs> Belbo Huggins. <laughs> Kenny Watson. Yo, he is the most gangsta ass hobbit I ever met. Kenny Watson. Belbo Watkins. Huggins. That nigga knows where to get the good weed. <laughs> Up in that shire. I'm trying to think of a joke that combines like Belbo Baggins with Kenny Watkins, and it's just not happening. Danger zone. <laughs> hey, it was Kenny Loggins that sung that song. Yeah, yeah, I got that. So you guys want to go bowling? 
<laughs> I don't know. Do you guys even do you even have a bowling alley? Yeah, I suck we at yeah. bowling. We've got like three or four. I, I like we suck yeah. hard at bowling. I only know I'm fucking bowl. terrible at it. There's one up the pike. The ABC. Yeah, there's. <laughs> you know, it was a good roll for me on bowling. It didn't go in the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> That's good for me when it comes to bowling. I actually threw one at the gutter so hard it jumped into the next lane once. I've done that. Because it was rock and bowl that doesn't rock, and Lincoln Park came on, and I just like chucked the ball in a random direction. <laughs> <laughs> I got so annoyed. <laughs> You're like, God damn it, I hate Lincoln Park! <laughs> yeah, that's exa- almost exactly what I did. Remember that time when it was me and you and John all in the car? And then that song came on. He's like, who's this by? And I said, Lincoln Park. He's like, no, this isn't by Lincoln Park. And then the fucking announcer on the radio, that was Lincoln Park. And he's like, God damn it. And he stormed off. And he started kicking my radio. And then he played it off like, oh, yeah, I'm okay. And he got pissed off because the song was by Lincoln Park. <laughs> you still have a Dan Smith mustache, Alex. I'm proud of you. Oh. Dan Smith, eh? Also, oh. side note. Yes. Jason and I are starting a new musical thing on the side. Mm. That's going to be just like guitars and piano and stuff. Mm-hmm. And he's going to be singing. So, Jason, I'll talk to him about. It. No, you don't. You don't know. You don't know Jason. Oh, uh, I was going to say this isn't the Jason and that it, I know. Uh, and I'll talk to him about it because you've always wanted to try to do something. And this oh. will, uh. this will be different than screaming and yelling and hollering and all the other stuff I do. You guys want to get to the topic? Not that I really mind that. No, I know you don't mind it, but I mean like. You've never found a place in that. Is that your phone? That no, I would vibrating? like to try. Yeah, my phone keeps vibrating. I'm talking to people because it's more entertaining than not talking about dicks. You're it's more entertaining. To, than you're talking to other people because it's more entertaining than. Well, wait, I know. So, so wait, so you're boring. talking to people because it's more entertaining than talking to people? No, I'm. I'm talking to people because it's We're more not entertaining people. than not talking about dicks. Yeah, if you guys were talking about dicks, I'd, I'd totally be in on the conversation. These are so lackluster when there's not a penis involved. That's why I don't like lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> no, <Okay. laughs> no. That was messed up. I apologize. No, anyway, no, Alex really doesn't like lesbians. No, you should have seen <laughs> Ian. Ian, speaking of Ian, he sucks. He told us he was going to be here, and then he's like, at the last minute, like the last possible minute, it was like, I really don't want to do this. I was like, yeah, Whatever. that sucked. But he had this big argument with Tim the other night about how lesbians suck. And he was like, <laughs> and Tim was like, okay, so you think it's fine for two guys to have a relationship, but if two girls are having a relationship, it's out of the question? He's like, yeah! <laughs> because he, he was being all self-righteous about it, and he's like, Tim, you have w- I have way more expertise here than you do. I have dated three girls who <laughs> went to, went into turned into girl lovers. And Tim's like freaking out about it, and he's like, he's like, so are you saying you can just say that they suck because of your personal experiences? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> it was beautiful. You guys, I just it? used the word tight in its most crucial way. How's that? Like saying like, yo, man, that's fucking tight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's crucial. They're all just jealous because you're fucking tight, crushal. You guys want to actually, actually want to get to the topic? Not I said really. first topic like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. okay. No, it was 15. Well then, yeah, okay, but wait, at wait, the wait, time, wait. I wanted to Hold talk on. about the website. One more first. one more dick reference before we before we uh continue. So, no, I no, we each get one cuz I already have one. Okay. So <laughs> I don't this, have a dick so reference. This summer, we went to my dad's house. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we tell this story on the show? I don't right? care, I'm telling you again. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I know that, I know that the people, listen, if anybody listens now, they're, they're not going to go back all the way then and look. Um, yeah, Alex put on some PJs, and he didn't have a button, button. in his boxers, and a button in his pajama bottoms. And his wiener totally just flopped everywhere, <laughs> right in my face. And he texted me about it. <laughs> yeah. He was like, hey, Andrew just saw my penis. <laughs> well, while you texted, while I texted everybody, everybody else, else I knew. <laughs> yeah, while I texted everyone else I knew who... Like, everyone was like, yeah! Or like, fuck yeah, you <laughs> And then we thought... Then, then we, we fig- you figured out that... Jason, you texted Tal about it. And yeah. a while ago, previous to that night, I had given... He was asking for my mom's number. To hit on her. And as a bluff, I gave him your number. 
trying to see if he would call my bluff and just like text like something flirtatious to you and I'd see how it panned out. So for a second, I thought he was going to get it out. Th- thanks for that, by the way. Yeah. Then we got to see how it panned out at Fur Fright. Oh, yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> with Colin? <laughs> no, 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 with you. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that. <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> did, you oh, that, the, did you send that email? I can't find it. Uh, it's it's the, so I, funny. I'll find uh, I think I can resend it. So he basically he texted Jason... Thinking, <laughs> he was sitting there thinking he's gonna get a text from Alex's fa- mom. I thought he had it like saved as like Alex's mom, <laughs> just saying I just saw Alex's penis. <laughs> and we, then we were like, we proceeded to. You throw were laughing so hard when you tried apartment. to throw a recliner. <laughs> 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 I was punching. I don't know what something. He punched something. <laughs> <laughs> and then you woke up sick the next morning, and I think it was because you laughed so hard. I don't know why I was sick, but God, that was what. And then we did the, then we did something similar the night after that because we were looking up porn. We were looking up porn, 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 porn titles. <laughs> Big trouble and little vagina. <laughs> <laughs> there was another one that was really really funny, and I can't think. What of was it? Twenty eight something later. Twenty eight. No. 28 gays later. Yeah, 20, yeah. 28 gays later. <laughs> About the gay zombie virus. I want to see that movie. I would watch that movie in a heartbeat. So I, would, I think it's more of a, a joke than it is like a, a porno, but I think there is sexuality, like severe sexuality, because it's not rated. Ah. Uh, it still sounds funny. But like, shoot me. I want you to shoot me if I catch the gay. <laughs> Remember we watched the preview and that's what that one person said? Shoot me if I catch the gay. Oh, I thought you like read that off. No, it, it literally was like it was a it was a preview and it was like shoot me if I catch the gay. <laughs> that was where we showed you that jackets video from fucking what's that show? Venture Brothers. Yeah, Venture Brothers. No, I thought it was on TV. It was on yeah, TV. we were uh, yeah. to turn on the TV. We, we uh, watched yeah. that, and then we watched Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was the episode with Santa Claus. Where and my nose, him. and then my nose hurt because I hit it really hard. After right after I got it pierced, <laughs> you you did that repeatedly. <laughs> yeah, and at one point I lost the one fucking ball to the uh, thing because yeah. it wasn't yeah, down on the sink. Site. It went down the sink, and my dad had to save it. <laughs> Oh, uh, that was a good week. <laughs> that was a really good week. That was a fun weekend. So my penis right And then we and then we left Sonic at a Sonic. <laughs> that was awesome. We had this great big plush Sonic that uh, Glitch left for me. And I was trying to think of somewhere funny to leave it. And we ended up stopping at a Sonic for burgers on the way back. And I was like, leaving a Sonic You guys here. got chili cheese dogs. It was also humorous got. watching you try Dude, to... Dude, did you see they have chili cheese tots now? Hmm. That sounds amazing. There, there's a fucking Sonic, like... Right over on 22. Wingless Town Road. Yeah, we should, yeah. Go, we should go. Totally. We should go yeah. at some point. And it was also, that what, one other great thing about that weekend was watching you try to withhold your rage when you found the dolphin statue. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> it was great. So, continue. Stagola. Stagola? Yeah, that's it. That's all I really wanted to say. Okay, <laughs> thanks for that. It's a funny word. Look it up. You want to move to the... Is it part of a penis? Sort of. You want to move to the first topic? Yeah. No, what is it? It's like a cloaca. <laughs> I think. But on a wiener? No, a we No, not... I think it's something that fish have. I don't know. Jason is the one who actually looked it up, so I'm taking his word for it. Okay. Rumor has it that Rocksteady wants to do a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games next. It's funny, for those, that, it's, it's funny that it's Rocksteady. Yeah, that is funny. I but, just realized that. But that, for those that don't know, they did Batman Arkham Asylum and Batman Arkham City, both of which were a very, very good Batman games. And they want to do a more mature game that's like more right. like the comics in the first movie. With boobies. Which I think would be cool, because yeah, I have boobies. not read the comics. With boobies! I want to see April's boobies! <laughs> Do you? No. She's a redhead. I'm not a fan. <laughs> but the, the, I haven't read the comics, but the first movie was fucking awesome. And I would love to see 
a dark and one, one of the Corys did the voice of Donatello. One, one of the, of the what? One of the Corys did the voice of Donatello. Okay. Who? The Cory, Cory Feldman and Cory Heyman. I think it was Cory Feldman who did the voice of Donatello. Uh. Mm. The guys that were in that movie where they stole the car, I forget what it was called. And, like the kid cuts his head, and they're searching in the car for like a bandage, and they find a maxi pad and he puts it on his head. <laughs> <laughs> license to drive or something like that. Uh, like, I, I, license I to thrill. I don't remember. Something, I, I don't know. Something about driving a car and then a car-related title. And he puts a fucking ma- like a maxi pad on his head and it's there for like 20 minutes in the movie. It's fucking great. <laughs> Wait, when, when was this movie? All right, early 90s. Oh, okay. Late 80s. It does sound like an early 90s thing. <laughs> it was fucking great. These kids steal. They just get in this car and they accidentally sort of like things perpetuate and they end up stealing it and they don't necessarily mean to <laughs> and and like there's all this mischief that happens and then one kid gets cut hijinks yeah it's hijinks and then one kid gets cut and they return to find something they find a maxi pad <laughs> and they put something else for it that's great it's fucking, it's fucking great cause it's sitting there like they're like arguing and one dude has a maxi pad on his forehead <laughs> Well, obviously, I like Ninja Turtles. Not to them, but I'm you know still wearing a fucking Ninja Turtles, like, you know, you know what, bean cap. You know what, like, 80s, 90s things should be made into a, a video game? What? what? The Breakfast Club. Breakfast Wor- Club video game. It would be the worst video game ever. Yeah, but... But it'd be awesome. 80s and 90s stuff make the best Because the guy could come and games. say, Did you know they I made own you. <laughs> yeah. Did That's you know the they game made a vid- video game out of uh, an Aqua Teen Hunger Force video game? It wasn't it like the worst game ever, and it was like <laughs> Meatwad walking forever. It and was it called jumping. Zombie Ninja Pro Am. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought there was a, I thought there was the the Aqua Teen Hunger Force game like right before the movie that came out when it was like Meatwad walking for fucking ever. Like you could beat the game, but it literally took like two hours to walk from one end to the other, <laughs> and you had to like jump over things. Oh, dude, I want to play that. <laughs> it's called like the worst game ever or something like that. <laughs> no, I was talking about like on consoles. It was on the PlayStation 2. It was called Zombie Ninja Pro Am. I don't even know what the fuck that's supposed to mean. It just sounds like they strung a bunch of random words together. This and apparently they intentionally game made the game awful. Like unplayably bad. <laughs> so oh, it's a B movie. It's a B game. Basically. It's not even a B game. It's like a fucking D cup game. A D cup <laughs> game. A D cup game. Boob reference. So it's, a, so it's a boob game. Yeah. So it is a B game. It's for boobs. Okay. <laughs> you said boob. Boobs. Like three times. Yeah. Boobies. Alex, have you seen a pair of boobs in real life? Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> no. Like I don't mean like porn or, or naked pictures or. I mean like. Like, a girl was like, yo, Alex, up, these are my boobs. It wasn't Jasmine Gomer Piles. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> five. Um, I saw five, like, in my whole life. Wait, five boobs? <laughs> you did, or five pairs of boobs? Five so boobs. some chick was like, five boobs. <laughs> five one boobs. half of the shirt down, the other half pulling it up. <laughs> were, they all, were they all, like, survivors? <laughs> like, breast cancer survivors? One of them. <laughs> really? No. Uh, no, I just said that. That would have been funny. That's, we... kind of a, that's kind of a big <laughs> Simpsons reference. You only saw five and a half. Hey, Marge, there. guess how many boobs I saw today? Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could have like a side boob that's like completely uncovered. I'm Most telling girls you. aren't going to bother to do that. I'm telling you, pulling one half of the t-shirt down and the other half up. There you go. Yeah, it was a waste of effort on her part, though. There, you saw one boob today. Just one. It's my boob. Just one boob. <laughs> so, um, I think Rocksteady could do a very good Ninja Turtles game. Um, yeah, he could. Obviously, they're very good at, like, if you played the games, they're very good at making doing dark and gritty storylines and Pretty good. characters and Ow! Things like that. Fucking Wicker! Yeah, he's the Wicker Man. You no, I just got with that wicker chair. Yo, it gave me a splinter earlier, and now it fucking just fucking like hit it's me. Chafing. Do you want to switch chairs? No, you just want to rock in this. I totally want to rock. I'm I not... was born to rock. I want to rock your face, Alex. I've got this scalpel. It's meant to cut Play-Doh, but I will not be afraid to cut you. Okay, can you hand me a root beer? I can't. It's been chewed on. The root beer's been chewed on. Yes. <laughs> he tried. He tried to chew the root beer. Thank uh, you. It actually hurt. 
Here, you can, you can hold one of these. <laughs> you You're not even going to hold the beer? Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, two bottle. Then uh, you can go like this. Well, I mean, you don't have to. Why are the like, snowmen yelling? Because they're melting. Oh, they're running from the fire. <laughs> I'll this, tell you one thing I'll be impressed really by bottle. if they can make Raphael not useless in the video According game to because the he's got General, the shortest reach of all the turtles. Women should not drink yeah. alcoholic beverages during pregnancy because of the risk of birth defects. Women should not drink alcoholic beverages. Consumption of alcoholic beverages impairs your ability to drive a car or operate machinery and may cause health problems. That is the politest way of putting it. They should do what fucking European people do. They're like, this is what happens when you drink and drive. Here's, here's a picture. Like and it's right on the bottle that you're drinking off of. It's like a de like a dead mangled body. Like they do with cigarettes. They, that. they do with cigarettes. I don't they know put they dead do mangled it. bodies on cigarettes. I don't no, know they do like they'll do like people with the uh, the holes in their throats and things the like that, brain. and they'll show diseased mouths. Ew. I don't yeah. think that's what's well, on packs of cigarettes. But I don't know if they do it on alcohol. I don't think that would stop anyone. So it, it actually did help. Nintendo is giving serious consideration to renaming their next console the Wii U. I personally think it would be a good idea because I think the name Wii U is stupid and it will be confusing to customers who will go in thinking it's nothing more than a addition for the Wii itself. <laughs> well, it is Nintendo, but anyway. <laughs> Yo, your shirt... Testify Did you that. see my tweet the other day? I was wearing that goofy Mario shirt. No, I didn't see it. I, I, I was like, okay, I just realized that I can almost curl my mustache now. Then I realized that I in in the mirror while I was attempting it, realized that I was wearing a Mario shirt. Okay, that's way Awkward. too way too many characters for a tweet, but I get you. It was that was the gist of it. Way too many characters for a tweet. Or the tweet was I the get gist you. of that. I'm gonna fucking poke a hole in your raisin filled cookies if you don't stop. Totally worth it. I don't want one. You don't want a raisin filled cookie? No, I don't. So do you think they should rename the Wii U? Yeah, I that's just I was like, wait, cuz like when I literally first read about it, I was like, oh, it's a new system, but it kind of looks just like the old system. Yeah. Except it's except, HD. Except for the controller. the controller. Yeah, the controller was weird. The controller is massive. It looks like it looked like a DS like that was attached to a Wii. <laughs> Yeah, kind of. And then another Wii. And then another and then another Wii was involved. And I was just like, but this one was in HD, and I was just like... They just took the uh, Wii's resolution and doubled it <laughs> by putting together two Wiis. That's all you're going to get is when you oh my God, Wii okay. U, you're going to get two daisy-chained Wii. Yeah. I, re I remember... I remember Rob Wenrick once. Oh, the PlayStation 9? No. Oh. <laughs> After I got a play... I had, I had a PlayStation 2 when I met him. And then he was talking about how his friend, he didn't say who, so you meet, instantly know this is a lie, that his friend um, daisy-chained PS2s together and made a PS4. Eh. And the graphics were amazing. <laughs> and then he could get special games for it. Oh, and he could get, so, like, they make special games for, like, a thing that someone jerry-rigged. Yeah. <laughs> so, so and I just remember basically... being like this. Robert... Mm -hmm. Fuck you. <laughs> I think that was my response. People used to joke about that stuff in, like, middle school, like, elementary school. Yeah, we were in high school. Yeah. You know, well, I, I've met him once. <laughs> so Sorry. I wouldn't expect any better of him. Uh, I wouldn't expect the... better of him now. What, 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 what was it? What about you? Do you think they should rename the Wii U? Yeah, the Wii Wii. The, you think they should name it the Wii Wii? No, I don't. <laughs> you know what they should name it? The Nintendo Dolphin. Yeah, yeah. Already <laughs> they should done. go back to that name. Dolphin. Yeah, the Dolphin. Yeah. That was what they were going to... That was the developer name. a prototype name. for the, uh, the developer kit for the uh, GameCube, I think. And and then, or, or maybe they should go Ultra 64. Ha! <laughs> 90s! <laughs> Nintendo 64. Two! Nintendo 64 DOS. <laughs> <coughs> Game Boy 6. Yeah, the, the, there might be a DS 6 at some point. Jeez. There's gonna be a DS 4D. It's just like... It'll just like emit odors. <laughs> <laughs> or it'll mess with the fabric of time. <laughs> it'll mess with... The, it'll, it'll travel it'll forward in time and then you'll be like, Where the fuck did my DS go? Yeah, it'll just kinda like migrate out of your hands. So just dematerialize. 
because it's like too cool for you. <laughs> it just dematerializes when you try to buy it. <laughs> Oh, it sounds like a lot of games they release these days, you know, where you have the product key and stuff. Yeah. Fuck. What was that Fuck Resistance you, 3? Like... Resistance 3 that they rage quitted and all he did was try to load it. Yeah, he got the game installed, and then it updated. And then it installed again for some dumb reason. <laughs> and then it got to the menu 22 minutes later, and he said, Alright, I'm finally ready, to, able to play the game, and I'm out. <laughs> I really want to play that game, though. I, I really know. like the Resistance games. And I think I, I think they definitely need to rename the Wii U because it's a confusing, b a stupid name. Yeah, it's a stupid name. <laughs> Sounds like a university. Yeah. Except where a bunch of losers go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 like it sounds like a tech school. <laughs> yeah, like Wii U for a uh, tech, tech school, school for people who say like every five years on the year. I really want to learn C++. You know, you know who I'm referring to? Robin. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I met the, him. Like, the Wii U is a tech school for Robert Winrich. We had a C++. Out with him. We had a C++ class together in high school, and he failed it miserably. I worked, and I had to study and take the book home, mm -hmm. and I can't remember a single thing about it because it was fucking hard. It is really hard. Uh, John Coleman. I mean, aside from various other sillinesses. He tried to program a Pong Twinkie bag. game. Huh? Twinkie bag. Twinkie bag. He tried to program a Pong game, like, like back when he still had his trailer, in C++. Now, I, if I wanted to, I could program a Pong game, you know, using procedural languages. And he was like, well, I'm going to try and do Pong in C++, which is object-oriented, to try, uh, you know, to test it out, you know, to, like, hone my skills. And he could not do it. He had the game finished, but he could not figure out how to tweak the attribute that made the things on the screen visible. So it was just like darkness. I was like, you have this programmed. What's so difficult about actually making it work for you? Um, his brother died? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damon? <coughs> no, no, John. Oh, I, th I thought you were, I thought you were talking, getting back to Robert, <laughs> Robert Wenrick. And then Damon died. Yeah, his, his no, brother did that. Robert Winrick freaking Damon. We haven't said that in a while. Yeah, that's because it's lame. You're lame. You're lame. You're lame. You're the women's quiz guard. Yeah, who's lame? Who? EA. You, you're familiar... We've talked about it before. You're familiar with the online pass, right? No. I have to explain this again? Yes. The online pass, basically, it's a code... <laughs> okay, okay, it's a code. Okay. ...the online portion of a video game. And unless you... And you can only use it one time, so if you buy it used, the code will probably not work, and you have to spend ten dollars to get a new code. Oh wow! Yeah, EA has decided to implement the online pass in a game that doesn't have online. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard of Kingdoms, Kingdoms of Amalur? Yeah. Yeah, they're going to put an online pass in that. It doesn't have online. What it's going to do is it's going to uh, it's going to lock up. Um, a series of quests in the single player campaign. So th there will be a series of quests in the game that you can't do if you buy it used. You can't get all the trophies, you can't do 100% or whatever. What was the game that, like, you couldn't, uh... Oh, Rob Wenrick, that was it. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> Rob, Rob Wenrick. Wenrick was the game where you couldn't. If Rob Wenrick was a video game... You couldn't. <laughs> yeah, if Rob Wenrick was a video game... He, you would he'd not be, be able to delete. You would only have one game. He'd be Batman on the NES. Or Dick Tracy. Hey, Batman was a good game. Batman Dick on the Tracy. NES was a good game. Dick yeah, Tracy, Dick on the Tracy. other hand, sucked Donkey Ball. Makes you run around town thinking there's a point to it. <laughs> it actually is if you play it. Yeah. I mean, you I just played have to it a beat little bit. one fun freaking life. Yeah. You have to be a gaming god to beat that game. Or have a game genie. What what was the game that like you could only save once, like you could only have one game going and you couldn't like delete it, so you could basically only play through it once? I I remember talking about that, but I do not remember what the game was. I think it was a DS game. But that yeah, what, was it a? It was a Resident Evil game. Hmm, that's right. It wasn't Revelations. It was the one that uh, Mercenaries. Was it Resident Evil Mercenaries? Did they, did they even come out yet? 
Revelations? No. Or Mercenaries? Mercenaries. Mercenaries did. It's for the 3DS. Revelations, also for the 3DS. Not out yet, but the demo is. I think it was Resident Evil Restructured. Why are there so many fucking... Make new games! Yeah. Make original ideas! Stupid fucks. Well, people like Resident Evil and they want... <laughs> people like Resident Evil because their parents like Resident Evil. <laughs> <laughs> well, the original one was, what, so 96, 97? Yeah. yeah, my fucking brother like, likes Resident Evil because I like Resident Evil. You're your brother's parent? Yeah. Ew. I'm also my own father. I'm my own grandpa. Says so Fry. <laughs> yeah, he that does. Was a song. By it? Weird Al, wasn't it? I don't know, but they played it on Kids Corner, and I was like, how does this make sense? <laughs> Damn it, people! Oh, he he had like a big ass long explanation in that song as to why he was his own grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> like, he, like he sat down and figured it out and went, I'm going to write a song about this. <laughs> I just imagine him with like a big, a big chalkboard with math problems and all kinds of graphs and shit written uh, out of it, all figuring out how he could be his own grandpa. The push pins and the yarn, like in beautiful mind. (laughs) Yeah, all to figure out how he could be his own grandpa. Oh yeah, this is retarded, EA. Oh yeah, the passkey thing. Your aunt, your. People who buy this, buy the game, should have the full game unlocked. Now you're not even going to give them the full single-player game. I just know that you guys are going to be some evil sons of bitches and carry this over to other games. Like, well, well, if you can't play the last mission of this game, the next Medal of Honor 2, if you don't, you know, pay us Damn, and buy it The game used. industry got really retarded. It is. Because they're big giants and they got cocky and they're like, well, you know, we can do these things. They're trying to fight used game sales and piracy is what mm-hmm. they're trying to do. and that They're choosing retarded ways to do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and someone needs to bitch smack them for it, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. And the only way we can vote is with our wallet and people aren't going to stop buying games. It's not going to happen. It was kind of like when I used to work at FedEx. And well, we can make them whip their dicks out, and then we can, like, hit them with rulers. Make that, film it. put that in our picture section. Yeah, yeah, put that in your picture section and have a girl, like, walk, girl, like, have Josh put on heels and walk across their balls. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm confused and horrified. <laughs> I'm scared. So am I. Will you, you're please, scared. Will you please do that? I need you're to scared. Like Josh and Stilettos walking across the EA executive. Like, I need like, adults. Like, I need adults. <laughs> yeah, I need adults. Like they're just like flopped on the tables and he's just walking across and he's and like playing, And it's playing These Boots Are Made For Walking by Nancy Sinatra. <laughs> Yeah. But, but it <laughs> no, the Up Ivy version. <laughs> I was gonna say the Megadeth version. So he'd be, so he'd be skanking on their like, balls. These boots are made for walking. <laughs> That's just what they'll do. <laughs> One of these days, these boots are going to walk all over you. Walk all over you. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I remember a couple weeks ago when you figured out that you could skank to meatloaf. I <laughs> did. I fucking love Meatloaf. Oh, dude. oh my god! Wait, wait which talking. album? I think Bad, Bad Out of Hell. Hell. Yeah, one or two. One. Oh, oh come on! Bad Out of Hell one is good stuff. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. But two, two is the best. Well, I don't have two. I just have one on vinyl. Yeah, he was like blasting it on his turntable, and I was just like in my room doing something, and then I caught myself skanking. I was like, I can skank to Meatloaf. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah, EA, cut out the retarded shit, please. Grow a brain between your CEO and all your higher ups. Just one brain, just CEO one that you can all share, so that you can might it's actually start brain. to think. Just one brain. <laughs> See, I think I think it's more like the CEO and all the higher ups at EA and Activision all share one single brain cell between and them. And it's a 386. <laughs> yeah, it's a 386. That was a 286. Don't give him that much credit. Ouch. Speaking of cramming. 
Oh man, oh. I just can't stop picturing Josh Neal <laughs> <laughs> walking across penises while Operation Ivy played. <laughs> Through those speakers! <laughs> just like carry those speakers up to EA's head. Like, like Alex and I each have one over our shoulders and we're just like this really like. We're holding them over our heads going like, What is love? <laughs> Baby, don't hurt me. <laughs> For those that don't know, these speakers are. Oh, yeah, you uh, found them like after a tornado. <laughs> I found the. Yeah, it was like a hurricane. Yeah, yeah. a hurricane. Yeah, a yeah. hurricane. I found them after. Yeah, that hurricane fucked shit up here. Yeah, we ended yeah, up Yeah, it took like a side. week to drain all the water out of these things. So, oh, wow. And plug them in. Then I found out that they work and it's fucking awesome, but. For. For just for reference, you just totally these things are with that four part. speakers that have 15-inch subwoofers on them. That's how big they are. <laughs> you you can fuck some shit up with those speakers. For the Blizzard has a yearly convention called BlizzCon, and they are going to skip out on having it this year, and they won't have another BlizzCon until 2013. They said the reason that they are doing Because the this, world's ending! <laughs> yeah, yeah the world out. is ending, and then we're going to hold the first ever post-apocalyptic BlizzCon. <laughs> well, then, like, all the stuff they do is going to be real anyway, so but, but they said the reason for this is... be cheap for them. Yeah, they said the reason for this is because they're going to use that time to focus more on the games, because they're developing... Right now, Did they're developing... Did you see that they have fucking panda characters now? Yeah, World, in World of Warcraft. Warcraft. <laughs> yeah, they're developing an expansion for World of Warcraft, Diablo three, and then and the second part of the trilogy of games for Starcraft two. That's what they're developing, right? How do how do we? Yeah, know why that? are there so few black people in games? Do you know so? Um, they're usually either. like Batman. He was he just had a black suit on. Black man. Well, you can't change a character. I mean, Bob Kane drew Black Batman as a rich white guy. You can't change. You fuck. You can't. That was his problem. Did you ever, did you ever watch the movie The Wiz? That was unfortunately. All, that was an all them version of The Wizard of Oz. It had Michael oh, Jackson it? in it, oh. didn't it? Yeah, Michael Jackson. Was, I think he's a scarecrow. That's awesome. I can I can picture that for some reason. Yo, you know what sucks? Hmm. Edit James is dead. Yeah. She sang that that at last song. Yeah. Oh. Gives me goosebumps when I hear that song. Holy cow! You have like a ridiculous bowl cut from that angle. <laughs> oh, oh my sorry. gosh! You look. It's like because the things keeping my hair down. Like I, I don't actually have a bowl cut. I have half a haircut. He you have a half pipe. He I shaved half his head. Quarter pipe, I guess it would be. Yeah, Bird. my head. My half my head's been shaved for a couple months now, though. Yeah, yeah. It was like uh, late October, I think. Now that it's yeah. gro- now that it's the rest of the stuff's grown out, it looks pretty good. First, it looked a little awkward because my the, like my bangs were so short. Now that they're longer, it's better. Yeah, yeah, it does look a lot better. But you were like sitting like this, so it looked like it looked like a weird comb over. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so seventies. Yeah, so do Except I. Except it like had like this huge like over here, oh, over yeah, here. <laughs> yeah, a pfft. don't you know what a pfft is? Is it a Rob Winrick? Yes. Oh, had no. a, I heard. I heard. Rob, uh, you I had, had a Rob Winrick noise. There really was. What? You farted. Yeah, I farted. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, I farted. Yes, Andrew, you had a Rob Winrick in your hair. Better than a Stegosaurus. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> what, do, what do you want? Your hair to be dumb or violent? Take your pick. Why did? Where did Stegosaurus come from? I'm. I am confused. Oh. Oh, we've got a Stegosaurus cookie cutter for the Play-Doh. That we have like a dry bar of Play-Doh. Do you want to get back to book up? Get the shank, the shiv. It's not cutting very well. Yeah, yeah, no. Actually, he's got a Play-Doh knife and he's stabbing things with it. Okay, yeah, shake up the root beer. <laughs> Put it back with the Play-Doh. There's so much crap in. Oh, now he's getting it. Now he's getting into the Play-Doh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn Play-Doh! <laughs> he smacks the remainder of the Play-Doh. Look at his hair. Station Bear. Station Bear. Station Play-Doh Bear always smells Play-Doh. so good. Yeah, it did. I. And it's like, do not eat. It's like, God damn it, I want to eat you. 
I'm I'm pretty sure like, I ate Play Doh. I tried to figure out what the formula that for explains Play-Doh so was. much. No. <laughs> when I was like six, I tried to figure out what the formula for Play Doh was. I was like, because it smells like salt, so it's got salt in it and salt. Maybe the rest of it's whipped cream. <laughs> Whip- uh, oh, wouldn't that make a nasty like meal? Like whipped cream and salt. Yeah, it would be like eating Play Doh. It used to explode. Play Doh changed it. It used to be. It used to be like um. Like C4. I want to see Play-Doh that explodes. Back in the, <laughs> they back build, in the, they back in the 80s, Play-Doh out of plastic. Back in the 80s, you used to be able to to light it on fire. Wow, that's awesome. There was some kind of plastic. My dad used to do it with my stuff when I was a kid. <laughs> I'd be like, where's, where's my fucking Play-Doh? And he'd be like... There was some kind of plastic that they used to use for kids' toys that was like... If you, like, touched it, like, glanced it with a match, the whole thing would, like, burst into flames. Oh, Rob Warner. Oh, uh, yeah, Rob Winter. He, 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 he we, burst into flames. We touched him with matches all the time. And he, he touched him with more than matches. Penises? Penises? <laughs> we know each other so well, it's scary. <laughs> oh. His finger's right here. Was it a cigar now? No, no, it, it, his smell still lingers. And I mean, oh, <laughs> gnarly. His ass. Uh, his ass. Gnarly, gross. Like, I went like this on his taint, like as he Gosh. held his balls back. So do you guys think this will hurt Blizzard at all? Oh, no, that's it won't hurt Blizzard at all. They make so much goddamn money. They, they from make World so of much money from World of Warcraft that people just people just play World of Warcraft at home instead of going out and playing it. There are 60 million people in the World of Warcraft because Chuck Norris allows them to live. Is it the commercial said? Yeah. What? Is that what the commercial said? Yeah. Something there's like there's as many people in that game as there are in Tokyo. That just amazes me. What was the politician? I forget the politician <laughs> had the uh, had the advertisement with Chuck Norris in it for his political kind of campaign. Oh, who was that? You're Rick right. Perry. Probably. I don't know, but he's. He, I think I it just was remember, Rick Perry. Probably Rick. No, Perry's. it wasn't Rick Perry. It was someone. Had to have been Rick Perry's fucking like cousins or, or nephew or uncle or somebody did his vasectomy. Like, what the who the fuck keeps it in the family that much? Yeah. Oh, I know. I know it wasn't Rick Perry, but I don't. Remember or it was that. his. It was his brother-in-law. Oh wow! Yeah, I know it wasn't Rick Perry. I just don't remember who it was. was I just remember. It was please like, tell me it was Herman. You know what, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been awesome. You know, what? I'm gonna look it up. Hang on, I'm gonna look it up. We're recording. Yeah, I'm gonna look it up. We're recording. <laughs> yeah, and he's gonna look it up. And your point is that I'm gonna fucking stab you with this pizza cutter. I, I kind of have to poop. Do we have an? God damn it. I hate you, Andrew. Chuck Norris Bissum. Chuck Norris political ad. Let's see. That's not my beer. Mike Huckabee. I remember that. Mike Huckabee. Wait, no, I don't. That was a couple years ago. That wasn't this year. Unless he ran again. I didn't say it was this year. I just said the political ad. But but I did love that. It's like, Mike Huckabee was like, "What's what's my plan for protecting the U.S. Mexican border? Chuck. Norris. Fuck yeah, my country. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Look at this. It's got 3,800,000 views on YouTube. You know who's funny? Rebecca Black. Warrior. <laughs> yeah, Warrior's funny as shit. No, I mean, he's still funny. Do you see him trying to do politics at UConn? Yeah. It was embarrassing. And they just, like, laugh you know at him. They were like, funny they're like, politics. says who? Say, you, you usually don't expect to see, like... What? But the thing is, though, he was making solid points. But because he wasn't... He, he, was speaking about, he was speaking about philosophy and existentialism and power. And he's being vague. But he wasn't giving... Okay, the video I saw, he wasn't doing that. He was talking well, about... Well, he started with it. I watched the video with you. Oh. He started doing it, and then he started talking about, like, homosexuality. And they are just like, what? What? Yeah. He's talking about rights with responsibilities, which was cool, but he was just wording it in such an awful way and, like, being, like... like yeah, like, the, I, the right idea were there, but he just was like... Like, he had this, like... like he was basically, like... Okay, so it's all right as long as you take responsibility for what you're saying. But what would happen, like when he talked, when it came out, it was like, yeah, basically, <laughs> he was like, I mean, he, no, it's just like they were saying, like, ju- explain yourself, like, back that up with facts, and he's just, you know, he was basically just like, he's just like, what is this guy smoking? Like that was his defense against, like, that was how he backed up one of his, uh, 
an attack on one yeah, of Yeah, but opponents. I'll give him, you don't need to back anything up a fact, so if you say it, and at least it's reasonable, it should be accepted. Okay, I see what you mean. Um, but, but when he was so like, yeah, gay, gay people or shit. whatever, you know, he was talking about gay people and just... The war, but the warrior, yeah, he's funny as shit. Um, I, the the best thing that he said in that whole thing though was, uh, all right, well, ten years ago, ten years from now, don't let the can I kicked come back and <laughs> come back, come all the way around the world and hit you in the face or something like that. I was like, what? Yeah, yeah. it yeah. was it, sanity from the warrior. Not gonna happen. <laughs> no, like like he said, the guy he's got some good ideas. He just. Is freaking crazy. <laughs> this is not a word I'm right. He wrestled. He did. He wasn't a public speaker. Yeah. He doesn't have. A, he doesn't have any good rhetoric skills. Well, he's got. He's got charisma, but he doesn't know rhetoric skills. Yeah, he can't. He, he likes. He doesn't his... have the whole logic thing. Yeah, logic. Who fuck logic? Schmogic. Logic. Logic. Schmogic. Schmogic. Reason. Schmeason. Pleasing. The reason for how the many season. things we have left? Because I, I see Alex squirming to poop. <laughs> yeah, I have to poop. Um, we're at fifty-six minutes. You know, it would be awful. Oh, so we're done? Just about. Is there one more topic? No. Sweet. We're, yeah. we're, we're yeah, all so we're terrible. terrible. Oh, Remember when we found him in that, in, in that salad? He's <laughs> first in that salad. <laughs> oh, yeah. That morning we woke him up. <laughs> he was all hungover from drinking, like, a, a bottle of Yukon Jack. Wait, is that when yeah. you started calling him sleep salad? Right? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we found him in a face first in a salad, and we were like, "When the fuck did you eat salad?" And he was, or no, it wasn't even that. It was like he got up and he went to the bathroom, and he came back and he was like, "When the fuck did I eat salad?" <laughs> and we just remember, like, I remember being like, "Oh my god, Billy, but then we, we need to go to the gymnasium then or something." I think we did. No, I think we actually went out to eat with him or something. Yeah, I think we were supposed to like wake him up and pick him up early for some reason. Was it his birthday? I don't know. I think we just really wanted to get him out of bed because he was like really being a downer that night before. Yeah, I just remember really being, being down rather. Probably. And Billy's Billy's dad was fine with it. I remember his dad was like, "Get him the hell up." Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, but then he's he like, comes Where the to the fuck door. Did I eat salad? He has like a smudge of barbecue sauce on his cheek. And I was like, "Did you come home sloshed and just oh, make Billy? a bunch of food and fall oh, yeah. asleep in it?" And that's basically what happened. Yeah, it was like brown. <laughs> He, he made the lettuce leaves wilt because he just fucking laid on them. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ready to sign off? <laughs> I'm ready to sign up. Oh, man. Okay, this yeah, I just realized that I'm almost not old enough for the draft. I coughed. I, I, I coughed like... You guys years. aren't... You guys You guys can't go to war anymore. I, I what, can. Was it 25? It ends at 25. Oh, cool. Okay, I'm this coughing is... like an old fart here. Anyway... This has been another edition of Press the Action Button Podcast here on digital delirium.com. As always, I am your host, Joystick. And with me this <laughs> Alex looks at my penis. Yeah, because you're a... flaunting it. No, I had an you're itch. Like, you didn't have to work. You were doing, like, the weirdest hand jive with your balls. Well, there. that's because I'm wearing, like, I'm wearing, like, gym shorts under you're, my you pants. You looked like you were making bread. Okay, can we... Uh. Can we finish signing off now? Also with me this week is Game Face. Say goodbye, Game Face. Goodbye, Game Face. Yeah, I went there. Last but not least with us this week is Dr. Drewback. Say goodbye, Dr. Drewback. Farewell, everyone. And we will talk to you guys next week here on digital-lam.com.